Hey guys, welcome to Evidential Tech. My name is Evidence. In this video, I am going to show you how to format cells, do subscripts, do superscripts, put a line through text, and how to run rand numbers. And let's get right to it. So, to format a cell, you click on the cell itself, obviously. So, you click on the cell and you right click, and you see where it says format cells. You click on it. And from this menu, you have many different options. So you have general, you have number, you can format it as a number telling the cell, hey, this, what you're looking at is a number. And this is very useful when you're doing calculations. If you're doing calculations and you see something that says hashtag value, or when your calculations is not coming up as a number, you probably need to go over here and format it as a number. You can format it as a currency, accounting, date, time you know and you can choose the many different things percentage fraction scientific notation if you want to put your numbers in scientific notation this is where you do it and you put it can put up to two or three decimal places and you can format it as a cell so the computer so excel doesn't think it's a number actually it's a cell it's a text you can special custom you can you know choose your own custom thing and this is just for alignment border and all that stuff so basically when you want whenever you want to format a cell this is where you come to just right click and come over here and i'm going to format this as a text and i'm going to click ok and that's how you format a cell now um how to put numbers in subscript and superscript in microsoft word this is very easy to do because it's right here around this place in microsoft word but for this it's a little bit tricky so this is what you do you highlight the cell and you highlight what you want to put in subscripts in this case you right click you format cell and you say where it says subscript under font like if you write do it as i did and say under fonts you see where it says subscript you click subscript and you click ok and just like that it puts that particular number i highlighted in subscript and the same principle applies to superscript so you click on the cell you go over to this here and you right click and go to format cell and superscript and click ok and it puts it in superscript mode and same thing for putting a line through a text and um, you can just highlight this from here and you right click format cells and strike through and you click ok and you put a, the, a line through the text and now let's say you have something like this like a number and you want to run this number to 2.3 because this is what it will run to all you have to do is you right click and you go to format cells and let me bring this up here and the, not under font but you go under number and you go under number here and you want to put it in two decimal places and you see a sample here so if you want to run it to three decimal places or four decimal places you put the decimal places over here and you can put character separators if this was in the in the thousands you know you can put um comma and to separate the numbers but you uh, put it to decimal places you want this to be two decimal places and you click ok and it runs it to two decimal places and let's say i have a bunch of numbers here I can also um, follow the same principle. Actually, this it puts this in scientific notation automatically for me. So let me extend this cell. Right click, format cell. Um, I can format this as a number so it doesn't put it in scientific notation. And I do not want any decimal places. I do not want any zeros after it. So I'll just click OK. And that goes back to being a number. If I want to put this in scientific notation, I go to format cell, scientific and I, I do i want two decimal places after the scientific notation and i'll click ok and i put in scientific notation for me and let's say i want to have just put commas i can just um go to numbers and click use sep a thousand separator and i do not want any zeros after so i'm going to bring this down to um zero decimal places and click ok it puts the commas we are supposed to be and if i don't want zeros after i'll just format cell and put it to two or three decimal places and click ok and probably need to extend this for you to see the whole number so 
Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. In the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Bye!